Hello, hello guys, this is Nikki Sosman1016 and today we have a special phone here today. It is the Huawei Ascend Mate phone, the biggest phone in the world at the moment at 6.1 inches. I just got it in and I have the pleasure to say it's one of the best phones I have ever owned other than the Galaxy Note 2. I ordered it straight from Hong Kong, China. No, Hong Kong, China. I don't know where Hong Kong is at. Whatever. Hong Kong. And uh, it got here in four days. FedEx International Express. Here's the packaging, as you can see. It's similar to the Galaxy Note 2. Everything in Chinese there, as you see. It does come in with a 6.1 IPS HD 720 inch screen. It comes with a Huawei self-made um, quad-core 1.5 gigahertz processor. It records at 1080p. The bottom, the uh, rear camera. The sound audio comes with Dolby Digital Plus enhancement and. The bands, as you can see, those are the compatible bands on there. I'm currently running it on T-Mobile 3G, so that's a plus. It comes with HSPA 21 Mbps, and Wi-Fi is 2.4 GHz or the 5 GHz. Bluetooth 4.0. Let's open it up and just give you a glimpse of what would come in here. The phone will come in here. We got some paperwork in here. This is the starting guide. As you can see. It's pretty basic stuff of what you should know. I'm still learning, so but it is an awesome phone, I tell you that. It's well worth it. Stuff that I can't read, so I wouldn't I would have no idea what it says. This has been, this is, oh, this is one of the, this is one of the most awaited phones for myself and some, as is one of the biggest phones I got used to in the Galaxy Note 2, so, I wanted something bigger, and I got it, I guess. Here's the headphones, similar to the iPod, iPhone headphones. I don't use headphones, so it really, it really doesn't matter to me. Alright, let's get over with that. The charger, I have it currently plugged in somewhere else, but it's just a normal USB charger. Here's the phone, as you can see. Let's see if we get a better camera view. As you can see, that's a earpiece right there. Then there's the front facing camera, it's a 2 megapixel, I believe. 2 megapixel. There is no physical buttons or uh, tactile buttons on the bottom, whatever. Everything is just on the screen itself. Here's the volume rocker, power button, headphone jack. This is the SIM card slot. As you can see, all you do is pop it open. This is the micro SD slot. As you see, this does not have a removable back plate. It is a high end phone for some of you that don't think this is high end phone. It comes with a micro SD slot and the, and the SIM card slot on it, even though you can't remove the back. Here's the micro USB charging port or computer connection and the mic on the bottom. It does come with a 4050 milliamp battery, which I tell you it's one of the best batteries that has lasted me the longest ever. The rear camera is a, I believe it's an 8 megapixel with some special sensors on there. So it's a good camera. There's the uh, 
LED for the flash and you might not be able to see it but once you get a message or you're charging this does come with um, what do you call that the little LED status light so when you charge it or you get a message the light will light up it's just a little dot you can barely see it alright here we go this is the moment to turn it on show you guys what's on there as you can see this is 6.1 inches it's 73 percent more screen than body so little bezel it's easy to hold on one hand but it's difficult if you have small hands to use with one hand you will still have to use two hands even if you have big hands so the lock gives you the options to go to camera phone messages or just regular unlock to the home screen it's pretty soft pretty smooth so there's really no lag this is a custom launcher I got on there at the moment the normal launcher that it comes with does not have an app screen so everything that you install goes to a different uh, just a different screen on the side there's no app drawer on there so whatsoever as you can see as smooth as butter quad core running android 4.1.2 it's currently running a live wallpaper you know sometimes some phones lag real bad when they have live wallpapers as you can see this is taking it like nothing let's go into the app drawer by the, aid, by the way the, the launcher that we're running is the Go Launcher EX so just in case you guys were wondering as you can see is the big screen which is able to hold seven apps down by six apps across the buttons on the bottom as you can see those are the buttons that you will use like the Galaxy Nexus line back, home, uh, multitask or recent windows however you want to call it and menu and you could also hide the actual buttons themselves so you can have the whole screen once you want to bring it back up all you gotta do is try from the bottom up and it shows up the screen is amazing it does look clear and sharp so whenever you want to read anything it'll be there for you let's go ahead and show you something let's just go to a website alright let's see this is the mobile let's go ahead and load the full website if I can find the option to do it hmm. can't seem to find it but whatever as you can see the letters are big enough for you to see it they're sharp there's no blurriness when you're scrolling up and down everything is smooth you have the option to swipe each one at a time or just press this little brush and it closes everything and it shows you how much memory is left how much memory is being used this does come with two gigabytes of RAM so it comes with eight gigabyte storage which is not the best but you are able to swap the inside uh, the internal memory for your memory card so since I have a 64 gigabyte memory card I'm able to swap that small amount of memory for my 64 gigs as my internal so there's no need to hack no need to modify anything to do that like Samsung phones and other phones as you can see it does have a few little options up here you could customize as how many you want or what you want up here by going to the more options 
and it shows you all you gotta do is um, what you would do is you would hold whichever one you want and put it in its place and it'll take that options place as you could see it's actually running on T-Mobile just in case anybody was wondering there it is 3G I'm still in the process of reviewing a little bit more as I just got it yesterday and I have not ever ever bought a Huawei phone so it'll take time to learn all of its features but let's go into its menu to see what it offers it offers most of the things all other phones offer but this also has the, the option to hide the navigation bar the navigation bar has a power management option I currently have it on intelligent mode for optimization for the long standby mode but it does have the normal mode which is for performance and power consumption and there's the optimum optimum performance for if you want the best performance this does not come out Google certified out of the box so you will have to root it and install Google services yourself it's not the biggest hardest job to do but if you're not knowledgeable about it it'll take some time as you can see the viewing angles it does not fade away as you saw the rotational it rotates real quick so I think who we come into the high-end smartphone platform it's really a big deal against the Note even though this does not offer a stylus it is coming hard against the big smartphone market that's why we have heard now that Samsung Galaxy uh, I believe it's called the Max line or I do not, if that's not it, I do not know what the actual name is going to be. But once they come out, they're supposed to be coming out with 6.3 inches and I think, believe, 5.9 to contend against this phone and all the other 5 inches and above. But I believe this is one of the best phones that I had at this size. People are amazed and they're like, what is that, a tablet or what? I'm like, well, it's the best of all worlds. It's a tablet and I could talk to, to people, text people, or do whatever I want. I like big phones. So this this has been a quick unboxing and a quick small review, not the full review. I will be coming back to it so you guys could see it. And I hope you guys enjoy. Remember, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below. You know, And I'm pretty sure that you already know that I thank you guys for all the support you guys give me. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.